Okay, welcome back once again. This time we're going to be doing the A to Z, and this time we're up to Loki. Now, Loki is an assassin. He can be run in the jungle, but predominantly you'll see him picked for the solo lane. Reason being is Loki is very, very strong in the late game and can look to farm up and play very, very safe in the laning phase. What am I going to be in against this game? See if Yarmus or Vulcan. Blah, I just wanted to check that. At least it's not the worst case scenario where it could be really bad this time round. I'm going to go for the super safe build, I think. That's what I'm going to go for this game. How safe do we really want to go? Let's just go this way. Yeah, let's just go for this. Okay, um, don't necessarily look at my item build. Your item build may change depending on what god you're playing. Uh, sorry, depending on the, the way the patches work in terms of items. And what we'll do here is we can look through his abilities. First of all, behind you is his passive. Basic attacks also utilize a five-hit swing, progressive chain. But when you hit people from behind, you're going to do an additional 20% damage. So if you get the opportunity, always try and hit the target from behind. Also works on minions and jungle creeps as well, including fire giant and the gold fury. So make sure you can position yourself behind them for the most part. If you get the opportunity to do that, to abuse it. First ability is going to be vanish. It's pretty simplistic. You'll turn invisible. And you'll stay invisible for four seconds and you'll get a mobility increase. Also, you'll be immune to slow effects as well. And when you come out of that vanish, your next auto attack will apply a tick. Dot damage of damage. Why have we got a jungle all? Oh my god, this is going to be awful. Um, and so you're going to be looking for that to be maxed. Generally, it's your last one you max. One point and it should be enough. The cooldown doesn't get lowered. You still get the same stuff from it. You just the amount of damage you do goes up when you get that. Second ability is going to be decoy. And this is what the decoy does. It basically makes minions attack it and absorbs damage. I should not have used my decoy there because I expected him to hold his hog. But he didn't. So that's not a good start to the game for us. So we're going to be looking to get behind this creep wave as much as possible. Use decoy, and you can see after a while the decoy will explode and deal damage to them. Then you max decoy first while in lane. Because it allows you to clear the minions out for the most part. One point in vanish early on allows you to stealth and keep yourself out of trouble. Now the laning phase is pretty simple. Oh god, it's a hell. This lane's going to suck. It's a hell? No, it's a Giannis. Why did that look like a hell? Now your laning phase is one of these passive ones, honestly. You're looking to just farm up and play safe. During the early game, use your decoy for wave clear. And once you've got your decoy up to a certain level and you've built your items up, you'll be able to clear the wave in full with your decoy. And you can see the minions will stop attacking. I did apply the tick damage even though I missed a lot of basics then. Unfortunately, I could have done a little bit more damage to him if I would have done that properly. Oh then, to be honest. So, farming up, use your decoy. Generally takes two decoys to clear the wave. You want to hit the back minions with your decoy, because the archers stand still to deal damage, whereas the melee ones will run back to hit them up. You've got to watch your positioning. Try not to eat too much poke in the laning phase, which is what I'm looking to do here. I guess this Giannis early game is actually not going too bad. You can see I've pretty much cleared the wave out for the most part. You're going to lose a lot of minions to the tower in the early game, depending on what god you're against in the lane. But it's not a problem. Your third ability, which you see me pop point into now, is called Aim Strike. It buffs your next auto attack to deal additional damage and also apply a slow. And you're looking to combo that one to deal extra damage off. I've just got to play this lane pretty safe. I'm trying to stay in experience range for the most part here. Oh, there's a portal on my face. That's going to... Potentially hurt. It still hurts. You see how I use my vanish there to keep myself out of trouble? Well, I'm going to lose most of these creeps here by bad positioning, Hindu. Oh, Hindu. That was a terrible decoy. Enemy missing Enemy terrible missing decoys are terrible decoys. I had to use my health potion, which I'm not happy about. Now, your last ability is really, really good, actually. You get assassinate. Now, what it does is it allows you to teleport a long distance across... Um, the lane, well, quite a, quite a fair distance. He's still looking for a portal here. He's going to be level 5 now. You can see with my ultimate, you can see how far I can jump to. And I'll stab the target in the back and deal a lot of damage. So what you're looking to do is try and initiate with that and then follow up with your vanisher. Use your vanisher for escape, as well as your aim strike as well. I'm just going to look for farm for the most part in this lane still. This lane's worked out pretty well for me so far. Good one to do this, god. Um, so generally what you can do 
as this guard is looking for a lot of rotations once you've got your farm going. I'm going to take a quick trip back to base here. I'm actually going to pick that up too because I can keep up with his rotations now. And not miss any farm. So depending what god you're against, you can go aggressive against mages. You can deal a lot of damage. Okay. I should have got some health potions there. I ate some poke for unnecessarily from those minions. I might have to all in in a second just to keep myself alive. No, I'm going to lose this tower. It's fine. Not a good decision to go aggressive there, honestly. That was a mistake. But it's okay. Now, different ways you can clear the way. Just walk up and decoy. You can use Vanish. You stay Vanish for a very long time. Decoy while in Vanish. And then retreat. So if you get a rough lane, you can look to do that to keep yourself safe. Obviously, if you've tagged these minions with decoy, you'll be able to clear them out fully. Yarnis is going to clear this way pretty quickly soon. So I'm going to eat some poke here on purpose. Just to make sure that stays away. I'm actually going to do one more wave before he comes back. So the lady phase is pretty simplistic as a Loki. You're looking to decoy. Against different gods, it's going to be rough. And you really start to come online when you get some items going for yourself. Let's clear this wave out. Get yeah, my blue buff and then go back to base quickly, hopefully. is my sort of game plan here. You can also use your assassinate to escape danger as well if you get yourself in a really bad spot. You see me pop my aim strike there for additional damage. I'm going to trip back to base quickly here to get my Heart Seeker online. Obviously, itemization builds, like I was saying, will change as time goes on, so be prepared for that. Uh, don't forget to use your Vanish for, stealth, uh, for uh, mobility as well. Don't forget, Vanish gives you additional 35% movement speed. So if you need to get somewhere quicker, you can use your Vanish. It does cost mana, though, so just watch it. But with my itemization build, I've got blue buff and I've got blue stone. I can clear out. Now with this Heart Seeker, my wave clear will go up a notch. I'm still going to have to deal with the Yarnus, though. Is he going for full cooldowns? No, he's going for Doom Mob. I don't know why he's trying to freeze minions off me. That's not going to work out great for him. It's actually helping me out more than it would do. Now you can see. Item wise, I should be fine. I don't need to go too aggressive here. I'm actually trying to freeze these minions off the tower. He's looking for poke. He's not going to find it. I'll clear the wave out. I'll use one minion to tower. I'm fine with that. So I'm starting to max my aim strike now. When you get to start maxing your aim strike after your decoy to go with it, you're in a pretty good position to try and fight if you get the opportunity. A little bit of poke damage and just retreat again. He'd used his two already, so I win the trade there. He's not going to kill any of those creeps. I'm not going to lose anything. Just bring these down with autos. Just going to warn him about that. Now, if you get a team that's rotating like this, you can try and abuse that. I might get to Yarnus, which is not a usual sort of lane. Thanks, Devios. You can start proxy farming as well. Proxy farming is actually farming the wave before you even get to the lane behind the tower. And keep the pressure on. He has to keep rotating back here. Now, with this opportunity, I can start looking for rotations myself to mid lane. Potentially look for a pick in mid, as there's no farm here. I'm actually going to pick him here, I think. He's killed himself for the most part. I don't think I'm actually going to be needed. Yeah, this comes in with a hot and spicy gank. It doesn't really worry me. I'm just going to go back to farming again. I did what I needed to do. I rotated. Didn't find anything. Back to lane. Don't lose any farm. I actually picked up a mid wave too. So I can put some pressure on left now as Yannis is trying to defend mid lane. So I can split push a little bit here this time around as well. Farm is the name of the game on Loki, honestly. You can run him in the jungle, and his ganks from the jungle, you definitely don't max decoy if you're going to go jungle, though. Because you're just not going to clear anything. You have to look to max his three for the extra damage from the jungle on engages. It's just not an easy one to deal with. Try and get some tower pressure on where I can. With my heart seeking nearly stacked now, my damage will go even higher. Yannis is back once again. I'm just going to watch my position in here against him. Femme is on his way over, so I'm just going to retreat for the time being. No reason to go too crazy right now. My immunization build's coming along. You see Fenrir showed his ugly face. i just got to watch it here, because Yannis is way far forward. He's trying to bait me in. I'm tempted to get baited in, actually. Ah, he's running already. A little bit too scared of me. You can see how the wave clear works now. Minions get brought down. Got to quickly trip back to base here. He can't see me around this corner, I don't think. I don't think, anyway. 
Boot no two. Teleport two. And go back to lane quickly. Just going to keep warning them about him being potentially missing, as I can't see him on the minimap right now. That's what you're looking to do for the mouse place. I make him disengage. He has to run for me. He realizes my damage. He's looking for taunts and things. I don't know why he's taunting me. He's not exactly doing anything. Now, proxy farming is something that you can abuse. Like so. I can clear the wave before he even gets there. Which means that Giannis is pinned under his tower for the most part here with no minions. Just going to ping this now. Game to come over into my blue. Drop this one down. So it's all about farm. And continuing to stack up in this game. Some Wukong over here. We can look to go aggressive. Fenrir, Giannis. Oh, that actually hit me. That was a shame. Notice how I didn't go crazy there, I didn't use my abilities to escape, I just accepted the damage. And I'll just heal back up off it. I could potentially pick this Yarnus though, if I think about this properly. We've got a lot of pressure on this side at the moment. Ooh, that nearly hit me. Uh-oh. Alright, we get out of dodge. Oh, no we don't. Oh, yes we do. Because we're Loki. I assassinated onto him just as he hit Ragnarok, so that's why he was immune to my stab. Now, what happens with you assassinate? You'll instantly jump behind the target, stab him in the back, as well as deal decent damage to them as well. Um, and you'll reposition yourself behind them, and it stuns them for one second, which allows you to sell for some more confirmed damage going forward. Continue to farm up, just keep farming, keep farming, keep farming, chairman of the whole item build. In the current meta, these builds, bo boots are built. Don't necessarily copy this build, guys. I'm warning you now, because it might not be the best one at the time of when you're playing him, but Talaria boots OP right now. That's why I never tell you to follow the item builds during these A to Z, guys, because they'll always change. Now with Vanish as well, you can be heard when you stealth. So what you're looking to do is stealth early. If you stealth early, they don't hear you stealth with your Vanish. And then you can approach an enemy and they won't realize you're actually anywhere near them. So you're looking to try and abuse that to your advantage. When you do drop decoy though, they know where you are. Oh, Hendy missed that badly. Okay. I didn't take any damage, neither did he. But it's okay. Because he's got a farm. I can just decoy the next wave coming in. Now, the way to work out when you can decoy, check your minion wave, because their minion wave will be in the same spot. And that's what I'm looking to abuse here. I'm going to vanish early here. <gasps> now, you can see with. With your Vanish, you can position yourself, they can't actually see you. So as long as you don't panic and jump out and try and deal damage because you think you're in trouble, you'll be okay. You saw me use my Assassinate to stun him there to reposition myself away from the damage and buy myself more time. So, rotations are very important on the guard for the most part. Keep your farm going at all stages of the game. Keep focusing on minion waves. Look to be aggressive over and over again. And everything's pretty damn good. Now Loki as a whole, he may not feel like he's part of the team, depending on how the lane goes. Sometimes he can't really be with the team, he'll be looking to split push. He's also got that option to split push all game long, just because of his vanish to get himself out of tricky situations. As well as assassinate, he can jump over walls with to disengage if he needs to. I'm going to stealth early and just see if Giannis is here. He's not. Just going 
going to call. I apologize for the honest not being called missing. I'm going to keep pushing this lane here. They're all in mid right now. There's no reason for me to go to that just yet. I should be able to push this into tower first before rotating. I think I can actually pick up some kill, uh, some either kills or a tower. <clears throat> That's the choice I've got before me here. I think I'm just going to go for the tower here. It's the better option. The team will be happier about a goal fury's worth of tier two. Then we go into a five-man fight and get one kill and escape potentially. There's no way they can stop me from doing this tower, so job's a good one. And we're out of dodge again before teammates turn up. Goal Fury's still down, so it's all good stuff. Go and do my blue buff now. Well, I'll continue to farm some more. You can see how I use the Vanish a lot. You don't have to use the Vanish as much as me. I like to use it for the mobility, honestly. But you just got to be careful about your cooldowns. Feed's very, very good on Loki. Um, as well, so you should generally be picking them up as well during these kits. If you don't, if you do go for Hog, which is a safer alternative, definitely Beads is your other option that you want to get for yourself. Gets you out of a lot of trouble that you can find yourself in. And as well with maximum purification beads, these cooldowns are quite low, so you can actually get two rotations off after a Beads if you really need it. So if you get yourself stuck after a Vanish, you can Beads and Vanish again, as well as avoid some damage. Need to start abusing these Talaria boots a little bit more in a second, as I'm not really doing it. I think Yara's gonna rotate through this jungle here. <gasps> if I could land some damage, I'd be good at this game, but I don't land damage for some reason. They're all rotating mid. I'm gonna come around mid as well. Throughout the decoy, I don't really wanna go aggressive on. I'm going to swing around the back here using my mobility of these boots. Don't be scared to throw out in hands. In hands can be quite strong as well. Decoy will take the tower for a shot or two. So be aware of that. You could use your decoy to avoid tower damage. As well as keep the pressure on. Still looking for farm all the time. There's no reason for me to keep pushing them. My team will do that and go around here and push this lane at the same time. Now, I did go on Geb then. Now, Geb's not necessarily a prime target for you. You're looking for squishies. Geb was just low health, and taking them out of the fight is a big thing to a team. But you're generally looking for things like Medusa, if you can find Medusa. Go on her. I'm going to use the Vanish here. See if I can find her. No, she's not. Disappointing. Disappointing. Oh, it's not on the list. Careful, right. Go. Finish off feet. And we'll get our ward this time. Now you should be buying wards, guys, just so you know. I don't know what Giannis is doing. It looks like he's going to feed to the tower there. And he'll go back before I can assassinate him. You can miss your assassinate as well, guys. You've got to make sure you position it right on them. If you don't position it on them, you will just teleport to that location and look like a fool. That's why you can also use it for um, clearing. So jumping over walls for escape. But just make sure you land it. Otherwise, you're going to look a little bit of an idiot. And everyone laughs at you. Right. It's not funny, really. I've got two over here. I'm not going to continue going aggressive there. I'm calling to do a goal fury here. They're going to see me rotate through mid, but I can push this at the same time. Defend the fight. You can hear by my voice comes what I'm actually telling them to do here at the moment, just for safety. They could do gold while um, I just make sure I stick on this side of the map. Because if they go on that gold few, on the fire giant, I could have caused them a few issues in plenty of time here. Still looking to farm up. Pretty simplistic what I'm looking all the time. Oh, the decoy was terrible. You can see how it clears the wave out. A lot better. Now I do have teleport online here, but there's no reason for me to teleport. I should stay in this lane while they're all so busy and try and get this Phoenix down. 
keep the pressure on. I can actually pressure mid at the same time here. Pressure two lanes at once while they're all fighting. I'm going to try and force them back to defend. And if they do come to defend, I can actually kill them. Let's show an example one. It wasn't the best use of my combo there, but it's fine. Keep them all pressured here. They're looking for me. I don't know exactly where I am, but my wall placement's pretty good. Little poke. You see how I just back up there? I'm not going to follow him in. There's no reason to do more than that. It was safer to just poke and disengage. Oh, that was unfortunate. God, I'm missing so many abilities. I'm a baddie today, guys. I apologize for that. Be right back. Cancel that. I'm just going to drop the blue buff instead. I said be right back, so I wanted to get some mana online, but this blue buff here will do exactly what I'm looking for. Stop people. Run away. It's pretty simplistic. If they want to chase, please, if I need to. I'm going to use my assassinate over the wall to get myself out of the fight. And I'm going to live from that one. Me and my Medusa split pushing that side. So it's pretty good. I can't really help you, buddy. You've got too many gods on you at the same time. I'm actually just distracting them from actually fighting here. If Yannis wants to keep going here, we will fight him now. Okay. How safe do I really want to be? Let's not be safe, Hindu. Let's not be safe. Get some wards, though. So this isn't the cleanest Loki game. You've seen me miss plenty of auto attacks for the most part, which isn't great either. I'm just looking to continue split pushing, continue farming wherever I can. Don't know why I dropped decoy then. It was dead already. Bit silly, really. But get wards, rotate around. I could have gone back into that fight with me assassinate. I'm pretty strong enough to do that, but I just didn't want to risk it. There was no reason to. Just stab him a little bit there in the back of his head. Lost him out of the fight. Attack fire gen. I'm trying to get him to attack Fire Giant. Like I'm ready to zone them out of here. As you can see, I took a lot of poke, but he did that cataclysm way too early. We can still clean this fight up for the most part. Medusa's a little bit caught here. Use this. I don't know why he just did that against a, a mystical male. Attack middle lane. I'll attack left lane. Attack middle lane. Help! Help! On my way. Attack middle lane. I don't know why that happens all the time, but it does. Oh, I got myself killed them. Unfortunately, bad mistakes from me. I shouldn't have died them. Silly Hindu is silly. Went back in and went aggressive when I didn't need to. I realized he was quite tanky too, because I believe he's got Mystical Mail, if I saw it correctly. Yeah, I did. No, he's not got Mystical. Okay. I didn't see Mystical Mail. That's why I saw it. I saw it. Oh, well. Mistakes were made by the Hindu man. Enemies 
I think I can afford to sell these now, actually. Oh, I mistimed it, Hindu. You're so bad at this game. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I'm going to teleport over here as quick as I can. I've got no boots now, so I'm going to be a little bit slower. They can attack right, I can attack left. Yep, they're all coming for me. I'm going to bead stack because I need to get away before they all come in for me. Still farming as we go. They've not got rid of me yet, and they don't realize it yet, so... I'm going to continue sticking around here with my hydras. I should be able to bring this down quite quickly. Come on, minion wave. Hashtag, come on, minion wave. I don't want to use my decoy to tank it just yet, because there's a minion wave spawning soon. I'm going to try to abuse my hydras. Uh-oh. Free poke damage is not good. I'm in a bit of trouble here. Oh, Hindu. Hindu could be in trouble now. Retreat! I think I'm dead. I am indeed dead, and we didn't get the Phoenix on right either. Oh, Hindu man, you embarrassment to human society, you. So the good news is, because I've got teleport online here, I'm going to respawn and then be able to teleport straight to the engagements again. Not much wall coverage, unfortunately. Need to learn my VGS commands for place or ward for teleport. But it's not that important. Okay. Might be two quick deaths here though, but the problem is, is I'm going to have to restack again for the time being. Gab has just respawned though. Now what I might do at this fire giant spawn is um, actually go for defense and go on Gab. Just keep him out of the engagement because Gab is causing a lot of issues in that game honestly. He stole the fire giant from us. Didn't really abuse my hide just properly though. Never mind. Going to drop a sentry here and two wards. My team don't really seem to like. See how I use the Vanish for getting behind them? They don't know where I am right now. Which is good. Okay, okay. Okay. They stole Fire Giant again, it appears. Gonna use my beads to vanish and escape that fight. I don't want to be in that fight any longer than I was. Um, if I had another ward over on the right hand side, I could look to steal that one away. Tom Wukong's not happy with himself. I can understand why. He just lost two. I'm hoping my team just finally be able to get Phoenix here, because Medusa was still right. Hey, we got a phoenix. That's a good. That's a good thing. I want to hit that on purpose. Oh, this cactus could be big. There we go. Need to get out of here before that Vulcan all hits. I'm lucky for squishes at all times here. If we can find squishes, that's a good thing. If we can't find squishes, we get out. If I don't find squishes, we find Gabs. 
And you can see with Vanish, you can rotate around the back and they get lost. Oh no! I was so cocky! I was so cocky! I need to delete this video and do it again now! The cockiness did not pay off. Oops, so do that. Avoid that. Two of these. So you can see with Vanish, you can go back on yourself as well and people don't actually see you. Um, if you do take damage while in stealth, it does come up. If you've got a dot on you, it will come up and show the dot, but not your actual character. So remember that. If you do get into tower range, though, or phoenix range, you will be seen through Vanish. So you've got to be very, very careful about that. If you do go into tower range, it won't pay off for you. You've got to be careful. I'm going to look to gank left lane here, I think. Oh, I'm not going to get that straight away, but... There's two in left. I can kill one of them. What the hell? Just... Oh, I was literally run out as I was teleporting to them. Well, that's a shame. That is a, a really big shame. Otherwise, I would have teleported in behind and caused some issues. But never mind. Never mind. Now, I know I still have my Star Rhyme, you saw me trade it out, but Bluestone Pen is just so good on Loki. Keeps me constantly with the mana. I could look to finish. I will change it out later now that I've got Transcendence. So they're looking to defend right. I can just keep pushing in left here. There's no reason for me to stick around. Stack on my Transcendence a little bit. Do need to get some wards down as well, just so I can teleport around if I need to. At the same time as giving myself vision of rotations, I've shown example one. Got a sentry ward there. I would have used my one already. I would have bled him and killed him. That was a bad call from me, just to jump on his back like that. I wanted to try and abuse it. Gonna go and push in this side, just like this at the same time. Got buffs where you can. As per usual. Just deny them. I'm not worried about the camps really. Deny them buffs in case they make some sort of big play and causes an issue. An ally has been slain. We can't see me here just yet. I was hoping he was going to rotate around, but he didn't. My assassinate is up in a second. So I'll be looking at him for a minute. God, that took me a few attacks more than I wanted it to. I could actually use that, use my beads, use my vanish again to speed myself away. Otherwise, I probably would have died there, honestly. There was no reason not to. We did get both phoenixes out of that, so that's fine. I can still farm up this right hand side a little bit more, push it up one more wave before I go back. There's not a whole lot they can do to stop me, really. And you can decoy over the wall as well to clear the wave. If you can position your decoy well over the wall, you can cause it, but you're not going to have actual vision. Minions don't give vision of all minions. He chose the wrong way. He still played Hunt the Loki, so we're going to play not get hunted. Is the whole game plan there. Uh, let's get this online now, just for a little bit of safety. Just got to watch my mana now. Attack Fire Giant. Oh, that slow was huge, unfortunately. I'm not going to go with Fire Giant because we keep losing it anyway, so. I didn't want to use my bees then, but I kind of had to. 
Did they really get Fire Giant again? Oh, we got Fire Giant. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh, I'm so tempted to go in on that. You don't understand. Assassinate's open a few more seconds, so I might go in. Here's my beads, and I don't think I really needed to. Fire Giant's going to regen me quite a bit here. Well, if you don't hit abilities, you're going to take a lot of damage for free, like an idiot. And that's me missing my assassinate, so... And we win the game from there. It wasn't the best game of Loki. You can see what you're looking to. Oh, it's connected bronze. Hooray! That's the end of the Loki game. Hopefully you can see generally what you're looking to do with him. Split push, assassinate targets. Didn't really use my abilities the best if he's a fair, but you can see how Loki's played out in the labor phase.